dear friends nice to meet with you this morning through this video and i trust that you have been enjoying these meditations every morning and i pray that the holy spirit will enlighten you and to bless you with a greater understanding of god's plans and purposes for your life you know growth is the goal of every life at birth an infant child is a perfectly developed child when a healthy child is born and come into the world but at the time of conception it was not so it was almost an invisible small cell life begins there but when life begins there is a perfect life because man cannot create life only god the creator can create life and for 9 months that uh, fetus in the womb of the mother remain there but what happens is that from the first day of conception about 9 months there is growth happening within the mother's as the fetus grow and that is possible because the mother takes proper diet nourishing food and through her that cell also is fed and nine months the mother feeds the baby within her through the food that she takes and she takes it with care knowing that it is meant for that little one also and after 9 months a new life is born into the world but when that small child fully developed has come she is a, that child is a perfect child human being and it is said that uh, that child infant child has Uh, the exact number of bones that an adult has now what happens since then is development the child's muscles and bones and sinews and everything uh, in that child both externally and internally start growing and that is possible because the parents take care that the child receives a proper diet nourishing food and the parents know what food it to be given when the child is still infant and uh, when he is able to that child is able to take a little uh, semi solid food and then solid food and as the child grows uh, depending on the kind of food and nourishment that child gets it is a very very important and um, child doesn't stop growing it all depends on the environment in which that child grows and if a child stop growing it becomes a matter of concern for the parents and for everyone who is close to the child and parents then realize the help is needed because child is going not growing and what is wrong and the child is taken to a doctor and the doctor examines and discover what is the problem and the doctor prescribes to the parents the proper way the child should be fed and uh, treated and the parents take the child back and uh, and and follow the instructions and the child again begins to grow in the same way when a christian stopped growing in his spiritual life and uh, in his relationship with the lord a person can recognize that growth because he keeps changing he shows more maturity as he grows 
and he becomes more useful for the kingdom of God. And then he becomes a, a greater blessing both to the family, to the parents, to brothers and sisters and to the church. And thus, as he grows, a Christian grows, his spiritual maturity also becomes very visible. And that is the way a Christian must grow. But in the case of many Christians, that kind of growth doesn't happen. And that is a great matter of concern for the church of Jesus Christ. And God is more concerned this, um, this uh, lack of growth in a Christian's life. That is not what God intends us to be. Because he has provided everything that we need for our spiritual growth and growing into maturity. We lack nothing. God has provided us everything. By grace we are saved. By grace we are kept and protected. And then we are given the Holy Spirit. And then we are given the word of God to read and meditate and then grow in the knowledge of God's plan and purposes in our life. So he has made all the provisions. We need a loving environment. That's why he has provided the church fellowship. That is our family. A child's proper growth depends on the environment within the family. A loving family, a caring family, uh, 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 a family which surrounds a child with uh, care and protection and uh, uh, all kinds of uh, good behavior. And so as he receives these blessings, love and care, he also grows with, a, with that kind of attitude, caring and loving and being a blessing to others learn good manners, everything happened within the family. The fear of God, it all depends on the parents and the people at home, all the brothers and sisters. So when a Christian stops growing, it becomes a matter of concern. And what does it show? That shows just like uh, parents see help is needed for uh, their child, we also realize that so-and-so needs help. And that help must be provided by the church, by the ministry of uh, all the believers and um, more mature Christians. And that is very, very important. That is the way we need to treat others. Instead of finding faults, oh yes, there are no perfect believers. We are not talking about perfection, sinless perfection. We are talking about growth. So help is needed. And uh, when a child is taken to a doctor, the first thing he does is uh, give an examination, a checkup. And so there is a proper checkup. If you are a believer for a few years, and now suddenly you stop growing in your life, you need to check yourself. How is your spiritual exercises that are needed? But now you are not taking those exercises. And others notice, are you seeking help? Are you seeking help from your parents, from your older brothers and sisters in the church? More mature believers? And uh, are you coming to the pastor and uh, asking for advice? It is very much needed. Now check the following thing, for example, about yourself. Practice of prayer. For a child, the most important thing is breathing. Without breathing, no one can be kept alive. Prayer is a spiritual breathing. And that happens constantly. And so we cannot neglect prayer. So check the practice of prayer. And secondly, practice of meditation and reading the word of God and thinking about it. 
the word of god is like a a, a, a vitamin filled milk and we must desire just like a child is fed with milk initially a few months it is very important that a believer when that believer is 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 in its beginning stages be fed by the word of god and the word of god not only feeds your faith so that your own faith grows and the word of god acts like a perfect nourishing milk to give you strength and vitamins that are needed needed that is the second thing you should practice the practice of meditating and studying the word of god and thirdly check the practice of a giving all you have to jesus giving your time giving your talents giving your uh, wealth giving your strength and giving everything for the sake of jesus christ and thus participating in the mission of the church and so you keep giving whatever it takes for you to be a perfect member of the body of jesus christ remember the church is the body of christ and you by giving yourself must occupy your place fill your place within the body and that means fill your place in the fellowship that is given fellowship with the church is a family and no child can properly grow without a loving family and no believer can properly grow and become useful and fruitful for the kingdom of god unless you have a spiritual family and my brothers and sisters the church is a spiritual family there is no perfect church today you will find many faults probably so instead of criticizing you being a example for others be a part and occupy your place and it is very important for you to remember this truth and then examine the practice of as i said the fellowship filling your place in the body of christ support what do you get in the family you get support you get encouragement and uh, a, a family environment also help you to lean on someone when you are weak and uh, and also it is it provides you a, a, an opportunity to learn properly and um, and then loving experiences you love one another within the family and the church fellowship provides all these in the church should be these things a good environment where people can grow and i pray that you will find such a church where a whole healthy proper diet from god's word is given to you every time you come and you grow strong and healthy so that you become productive as a believer as a part of the family you have the opportunity to share the family responsibilities you have the privileges you also have a responsibility and then the practice of witnessing check are you witnessing are you using your talents to bring people to the knowledge of Jesus Christ it is very important you be a proper family person living within the family and blessing the family and through the family let you do your part so that the family circle will keep on increasing and expanding until it becomes a, a mighty force in your village in your city in your town in your state or wherever god has placed you and so this is the blessing and i pray that you will understand this truth and become useful as a as a member of the spiritual family which is the church of jesus christ 
where you grow. And remember, growth is the goal of every life. May the Lord bless you. What is the purpose where it, it takes us our growth? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 says, Until we grow into maturity to reach the uh, the in, in reach to the full measure of the fullness of God. That is where you must reach. This is God's plan for you. God bless you as you give yourself to this. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have given us everything that is needed that we may properly grow in our spiritual life and become useful and fruitful and a blessing to the church to the family and to the people around us that we shall touch many lives and influence many lives for the glory of God always remember my friends by what you say and how you behave and treat others will influence somebody every day. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Live for his glory. Amen.